Welcome to the channel that teaches you the thing your parents and teachers are too afraid to, the Helios blog. Today, Kevin Samuels talks about challenging the narrative, understanding modern women. This should be a good one. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. I'm, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How old are you? I'm 29. All right. So Danger zone. You want to change the narrative, change our mind. What's the misunderstanding that men have about dating women today? Or what do men need to do improve or do better in relationships? Those are all of your options or you can ask a question. Okay. Um, to start, I would say um, in my microcosm of experience, um, often yep, solipsism. And young men are not emotionally intelligent. Um, Indeed, that's why women never date them. Um, I think that's due to emotions being like negatively correlated with women. Ah, yes. Everything is about emotions. Yup, especially for men. Oh, wait. That's again solipsism. Uh -huh. um, but in, this, in the successful relationships I've had, it's been with men of my age, a few years older, who um, are very self-aware, emotionally intelligent. Uh, so where is your ring? Um, able to challenge a lot of the uh -oh. rhetoric we hear surrounding like relationships, just general relationships amongst do me the Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. yes. you, ladies, you ladies tend to talk in streams of consciousness and we men are very simple creatures. Can you make it real simple? Mm -hmm. Can you make it real simple and real short? Cause I'm, lo I'm losing the plot. Absolutely. Um, so I would say for modern men dating modern women, um, there can be a disparity between... Lordy Lord, girl that can't land the plane. Maturity. Yeah, right. Women only date men that are more mature than them. It's, it's true. Um, okay. Maturity, how are, you, how are you evaluating maturity? Um, um, by the way, she's turned on by Kevin. You can tell by how she's constantly licking her lips. Professionalism. Mm. She's just trying to tell Kevin what she thinks that he wants to hear, which is virtue signaling. She's not able to have a, she's not able to just be honest, right? And again, this is something that, that you'll commonly see among, among women is they're afraid, deathly afraid to say anything. They might be interpreted by anyone as being controversial. So they dance around and they try not to ever say anything that anyone might disagree with for fear of being labeled as an other. Because if you're an other as a girl, you get killed. I mean, not in 2023, obviously, but in the tribal times that, you know, humanity effectively evolved in relationships with your peers um um communication skills now do, respect, um, now do respect what does professionalism and maturity have to do with anything you can be mature and not be a professional so uh, so i need you ladies to understand uh, well, I, a lot mm -hmm. of times you're coming in saying stuff and i get it you're trying to translate your feelings into words but it's not making sense when you say maturity, hmm. give me an example of what mm -hmm. lacking some uh, a situation to lack maturity or need to improve maturity. Give me an example How about that. Let's try it that way. Um, okay, so I would say lacking maturity. An example would be um, not being able, not researching some of the claims in which you're digesting in your content. What is what? What is she even saying? This is just a stream of gobbledygook that makes no sense. Imagine this is your job. You're Kevin Samuels. This girl comes on your show and she just says 
crap. What are you supposed to do? She's literally not... She's putting stuff together. But it's not making any sense. Because she's so afraid of saying something that might be interpreted as being controversial. That she just dances around like a politician saying words without saying anything. I just lost three minutes of my life listening to this garbage. What are you saying? Um... That would be indicative of lacking maturity. Look at Kevin. Okay. Look at his expression. He has no idea what she's saying. So just, I, I want to be clear. We're talking about how men need to be better in relationships. And you say researching claims about the things I make in my videos? Correct. That is what I'm saying. I, I, I don't understand. Oh, like uh, the guy will make a blanket statement like men are stronger than women. And then she calls him out on it and he hasn't researched it. So he can't properly explain it using scientific detail. And so she thinks that that's lacking maturity. Is, th is that the implication? I think that the inability to have the intelligence to do that is indicative okay, of being immature. That's not in intelligence. That's you being disagreeable. And he doesn't need to research every you know, sentence of everything that he says uh, or that makes him immature. This is, where I, this is where I start to get a little frustrated because there are there is such a thing as a heuristic like there's a lot of things you know that you haven't like Google search to make sure that it's factually accurate but you still believe it and it's still even true I, that I don't I don't think that makes a person immature like for example do you have to research that the sky is blue you just look up and you know that the sky is blue right you have to research that, you know, anyway. Okay, let's continue. A relationship between you and a man. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. That ain't got shit to do with my videos or the claims I make. Well, that was an example of what immaturity okay. could look I don't like. understand how those two things line up. But I'm willing to have the conversation. Because what Absolutely. it sounds to me, though, is mm -hmm. it's like, well, a guy who would listen to you and not research the claims you make lack maturity. Right, exactly. So the, the point is, the girl would make a blanket statement. Uh, you know, women are good at this, at X. And the guy's like, no. I like Women are good drivers. And the guy would say, no, women are terrible drivers. She'll be like, did you research it? And he'll be like, no. Be like, well, you're not mature then, because how dare you say that? This seems nuts to me. Any, anyway, let's continue. Well, that would that's an example of lacking maturity. What is, is not not, be, not being a critical thinker. That's right. If he disagrees with what you say and doesn't back it up with scientific proof, he's not a critical thinker. Okay. Disaster. It's immature. Are you are you in a relationship? No. Yes, I am. Okay. How long have you been in it? Nightmare. Oh, September twenty twenty one. Okay, ma'am. People watch a plethora of things, and you don't have time to research. Okay, I don't. I, I, okay. What? This girl sounds like a nightmare to be with. You know how I can tell? She has that haughty expression. I know better than you. Nightmare. What do you think about the men who watch my content? Do you think they're critical thinkers? Um, I think I think some of them are. Sorry. Let me give the most politically correct answer I possibly can. Do you think the men that that watch my content are critical thinkers? Um, you know, according to research. Some men are critical thinkers, but some men are not critical thinkers. In fact, humanity lies on a normal distribution, and I cannot confirm or deny that any particular human being is a critical thinker. Disaster. Um, so what I think it's difficult to say. Content, what percentage of my content, of the, what percentage of the men who watch my content do you think are critical thinkers? I couldn't speculate on that because I don't know. I assert my Fifth Amendment right. 
well, the numbers or the demographic. I must virtue signal and avoid uh, bothering anybody or disagreeing with anyone in the chat every time I speak. Graphics okay, of you, the what people I'm who consume you, your content. Okay. okay. She is agreeable to the point of being neurotic. Now, neuroticism and agreeableness are two different traits of the big five. But basically, this girl is highly neurotic and mildly disagreeable because she's constantly disagreeing with what Kevin's saying despite appearing to be agreeable. Uh, she's being polite but still disagreeing with every single point. Okay. I'm not trying to play gotcha, but you're not making... S Maturity is uh, patience, ability to understand that you ne don't necessarily need to rush into something. Yep. You need to mm -hmm. do a little bit... But that has... But what does that have to do with somebody watching my content and how they behave in a relationship? Here's what, I, here's what I'm trying to demonstrate to you guys is how modern women have so much lost who we are as men. You don't even know how to talk to me, man. Nope. As a man, you, you just, you just, you just verbally, you just verbally vomiting and all the men in the chat room are like, what is she talking about? We aren't all wrong. If you can't communicate what's on your mind, is that a problem with the men or is that a problem with women like yourself? Indeed. She's literally, but that uh, this isn't actually what's happening. What's happening is she knows that she's being watched by 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 people. And so because she's a woman and women in general tend to be agreement seekers or consensus seekers, and they're very afraid of being expelled from the group, she has read the chat room, as it were, and understands that if she says anything too controversial, that um, like 20,000 people are going to disagree with her. They're going to other her. And so she will effectively be ostracized from the group. So her nature prevents her from being able to say such things. And so all she says is a verbal diarrhea that is circular logic that doesn't actually say anything. But because it doesn't say anything, it also doesn't say anything bad. While also appearing to communicate because she is talking and she is appearing to be serene and agreeable with her tone. So sub communication to all these girls is you see. I'm able to communicate with Kevin Samuels. I'm being polite. Look at what a great girl I am. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not saying anything, but I'm not disagreeing. I'm not saying anything controversial. I'm not saying anything any of you would disagree with. I'm still part of you, aren't I? That's what's actually happening here. I think I've been able to fully communicate what's on my mind. Okay. Indeed. You care more about the opinion of the crowd in Kevin's opinion, and are filibustering by what you're saying. Yes, it's true. But you haven't also made yourself look bad to the women in the crowd either. Or the men, for that matter. Because, well, except for men like me who are critical thinkers and know that what you're saying is garbage. So, great job. I'm going to go in the, I'm going to go in the comment section, okay? To all the men in the comment okay. section, okay, to the men in the comment section, this is members only, by the way. If you're a man okay. and you're- He has about 10,000 viewers right now. You're in the comment section oh. and you clearly understand what this woman is saying. Type 68. If you have no clue what she's talking about or you or you, or you somewhat confused, type 25. I'm going to look at I'm, the 68 to the guys who understand. Waffling, you see, she's just yeah. That's what the guys. That's what the guys think. She's just saying garbage to filibuster. If you guys don't know what filibuster means, uh, filibuster means you just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk to fill time, but you don't say anything relevant. And the point is that you're trying to 
wear out all the time before anything useful happens. And the 25s are the guys who are as clear as mud, okay? That's what we're going to look at. Um, I'm going to create a poll. So go ahead. You were saying? What are some other things that we can do? Um, this is a speculation um, for having this conversation. Um, what are other things men can do? I mean, I really, I think it's individual to the man. I don't think you can necessarily umbrella all men unto, under one expectation or one categorization. Why, why do you ladies believe that? Why do, why do modern women believe that you can't make generalizations? Because I get, uh, personally, I get so tired of hearing women saying, well, you can't put everyone under. Yes, you can. It's called a generalization. You can totally generalize. In fact, that's how we've done. Like, generalizations are very important. Because when you generalize, you, you make a blanket statement. You, you uh, condense a large quantity of information into a small heuristic. Now, the heuristic isn't always correct, strictly speaking. But it is correct enough time to be able to make predictions using it. And that's the point. You don't need a perfect model. You just need a working model, right? A, w a workable model. So the, the adage is, a crappy plan executed is better than the perfect plan never executed. And that is what intelligent mm -hmm. people do. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. show you what I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going oh, to I can see chat. it. I'm here on your. You, I'm okay, here on so your YouTube. Okay, so I have yet to see well. a 68. Okay. <laughs> I have yet to see a 68. <laughs> okay. okay. Every so single guy. Is just by 25. being a, a rational person. You're not no, 25 and 94% don't understand what the hell she's saying. Communicating clearly has nothing to do with... By the way, there are around 10,000 people in that, in that chat. So it is a good representative sample of the population. Most people can't understand what she's saying. But I think she's doing it on purpose. I think she's purposely not communicating clearly to waste time so that she doesn't look bad with us is the men so that's all that's all i'm trying to get you ladies to understand that it's not always on the men yep well go ahead well i now, i now, don't i, asked, I, I asked don't think that's i don't think I asked that about, that's i asked about right. generalizations mm -hmm. because you said well we can't mm -hmm. we can't classify or or the bottom line is why is it today that everyone so many people don't want to make generalizations because everyone's a special snowflake, so nobody's like anyone. But the truth is, that's not the real reason why they don't want generalizations. They don't want generalizations because everyone thinks it's a specialist, the narcissist, me, me, me generation. That's why, really. You're not right, because in this one specific instance of one of my friends, one time, it didn't apply. Well, that's bullshit, and you know it. It's really difficult to answer these vague questions. Um, well, you, uh, you said why well, you I can't. Kevin Samuels is vague. Yes. Totally not you. Kevin is vague. It's his fault. Yeah. I Put really... all men under one umbrella. What does that mean? Disaster. Because, I mean, based on what I viewed in your content, I, I don't, I don't know the majority. I don't know in my own circle, the men you're talking about. I don't know in my own circle, the women you're constantly talking about. So when I'm viewing this, I'm not really sure where these people okay. are. Based where upon they exist. My, so I want to be clear based upon my content, you don't see that mm -hmm. in your circles. Correct. Okay. That's fair. But mm -hmm. my content is with the public. women of all races of all ages and there is a through line 
So just do, do you do you do you do you accept that? Please don't worry about the comment section. Talk to me. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> I was reviewing that. I was absolutely correct in my assessment of she cares more about what the comment section thinks than what Kevin thinks and she's trying like hell to avoid any possible negative comment from the comment section from what she is saying. And and the irony is that by trying to avoid it so hard, she's made the men totally confused. They have no clue what she's even saying, which is the purpose, right? If you're unknowable, then you can't be criticized, right? Because how can you be wrong if they can't know you? That's that's the idea. Um, do I accept that? Okay, yes. Your, your audience is the public. Not my audience, ma'am. Not my audience. French mm -hmm. toast, not the audience. See, this is now we're about to get into a problem. We're going to have a problem. I don't even pay attention to the comment section. You need to have the conversation because you're not doing too well communicating with me. And I'm doing my best to have a conversation with you. Now I'm about to lose my patience. I accept that your, your anecdotal circle may be different. But the content I do is with the public. It's not just my audience. What about the women that call in? Look at that smug smile. That's the content, not the commenters. Correct. And often I feel like I only see two extremes in the women who call in. Which are? I mean, so. And you're totally not part of those two extremes. No, you're totally different. Like all the other girls. Totally different. No generalities. No common threads between you and them at all. No, no. You're special. Girl. 32. You either have a highly educated woman in her late 30s or early 40s, or you have a very young woman who's making um, less than $50,000 a year. 74% of black hear women make 74% of black women make. What? She's not even watching the show. <laughs> Most of the girls are sketchy and uh, just save random, horrible dumb crap uh and it can't even talk to a man without being disrespectful and then there's the girls that are actually not like that which is a very tiny percentage it's not about income really most of the time the girl that's a uh, quote-unquote phd is unreasonable and annoying just like the, the other sketchy girls make less than fifty thousand dollars a year it's three and four. I'm aware of that statistic. So, ma'am, due yeah. respect, I don't get... To, okay, how much of my content have you watched? Five minutes. Um, not, not all of it, for sure. Look at how vague she is. Like, I think there's something psychologically wrong with a girl, actually. So, you've seen... Women, either educated women or young women making less than, ma'am. This is where I, you know, I'm gonna ask. I'm, I'm gonna open up a question to the audience. Move you to the side, ladies okay. and gentlemen, the audience. Do you think education has made women better or worse? Second one. It just triggers hypergamy, right? The girls, like, once they have a university degree, they think they're better than men that don't have a university degree, and they just look down on them, even though those men are often, oftentimes more useful to civilization and to society in general than those women. But they look down on them. Oh, you're a bricklayer? Oh, you're a carpenter? You're garbage. I, I did women's studies in university. I, I have a university degree. You're trash. Meanwhile, these girls can't get a job if their life depended on them, uh, if their life depended on them, right? Their salaries are 40K if they do get a job. You know, Starbucks barista with a, you know, with a women's studies degree. But she's superior to all the carpenters, all the bricklayers, bus drivers, the electricians. She's superior to them because she has a degree and they don't. Fantastic. I personally think education has made most of them worse because this is what we get. Gobbledygook. A bunch of shit that sounds smart that sounds dumb as fuck. 
Literally. Exactly. Well stated, Kevin. A bunch of gobbledygook that sounds smart but is actually dumb as hell. Yes, accurate. Look at Kevin, he doesn't even know what to say. He's like, Kevin's thinking, what have I even just experienced here? Must be very so, stressful. So, you want to get out of the comment section? Ha <laughs> ha, she's still... You see, and, and she's showing, she's unable to learn, right? He tells her, she doesn't listen. Tells her again, doesn't listen. She can't listen, she can't participate in conversation, has to be right. It's it's uh, what Kevin is talking about. Sh uh, sign language. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. Yeah. Disaster. Everything that's wrong with the modern woman, ladies and gentlemen. Will she come out of this conversation admitting that she's an idiot? Nope. She's going to go on living with that serene expression, I'm better than everyone. I'm a PhD. Lovely. Okay. Let's end the video there. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R. Thomas, and Bobby. Shout out to you. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Interested in coaching? Email me at the Helios blog at gmail.com. We'll slot you right in. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening, especially if you listen to the end. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.